Gamar Joss, everyone! This is a Canon 10 to 18 mm zoom lens. Canon's APS-C cropped sensor has a crop factor of 1.6. For an example, putting the lens on 10 mm, that would be your focal length. This lens has 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18. Taking the focal length of 10 mm times it by the crop factor, which is 1.6, equals 16 millimeters. F4.5 to 5.6, seven blades, which means the more blades, the softer the bokeh is, the less blades, the more square the bokeh is gonna be. That refers to aperture, the closing and opening of letting how much light in a lens. Canon has only two wide angle lenses that has image stabilization. Of course, Canon does have a lot of wide angle lenses, but there's only two that have image stabilization. So the first one is this one, the 10 to 18 millimeter lens, and the second one is Canon 16 to 35 millimeter F4L UCM. UCM stands for ultrasonic motor. This is a STM, which is a stepper motor. UCM motor is much quieter than the STM motor. Also the STM motor, there's sometimes a hit and a miss on out of focus. This UCM is much faster on the out of focus. The reason why there wasn't any unboxing for this lens is because I purchased this lens on OfferUp. OfferUp is an app where you purchase items from local people. I purchased this lens from a person through offer up, I meet it with a person and I bought it. And it is a used lens, and the person said that it has been used only twice. So I got a really good deal on this. I bought this for $150. That is pretty much the price as a 50 millimeter f1.8 Canon lens. The price for this lens is $280. I should have bought this lens first, then the 18 to 135 millimeter lens. This is a great wide angle lens and it is lighter than the 18 to 135 millimeter lens. But that is a whole separate video on its own that is coming soon, the 10 to 18 millimeter lens versus the 18 to 135 millimeter lens. Let's take a look around the lens. It has a lens cap, it has all the information around it. What's really cool about the 10 to 18 millimeter lens is it takes the same thread size as the 18 to 135 millimeter lens. It has out of focus and manual focus, stabilizer on, off. It is all plastic. There's no weather protection at all on this lens. The more higher quality lens is the one that I mentioned is the 16 to 35 millimeter lens f4 l ucm i would recommend that lens but if you're on a budget this lens works great this is the part of the video where i will put this lens on the canon 80d so you viewer don't have to skip anywhere right now on my canon 80d i have the lens of 18 to 135 millimeter lens so if you would take 18 times the crowd factor 1.6 would equal to equals 28 millimeters because the crop factor is I have to back myself really far out to be in the frame this is the 10 to 18 millimeter lens and if I put to 18 millimeters which would be the same as the focal length of 18 millimeters on this lens this is how it's gonna look this is your 18 to 135 millimeter lens not a lot of room to be in the frame. This is all the way zoomed out. There is a little bit of vignetting around the four corners of this lens. So I keep it a little bit zoomed in, not too much. So that I won't have that vignetting. Maybe you see it, maybe not. It depends on the lighting and the scenario. But if you want to avoid that vignetting, 
Just zoom it a little bit on this 10 to 18 millimeter lens and it will be perfect. Enough of me talking, let's put this lens to the test. Heading outside with this vlogging setup. The pros and cons of this lens is pros, wide angle, image stabilization, and well built. Cons is plastic and does not have a weather sealing on the lens. Should you buy this lens? Yes. You can find great deals on OfferUp, Adorama, or b &H. The vlogging setup is this, Aperture VMAG D2 on the top, Canon AD and Joy B3K kit. With this 10 to 18 millimeter lens, it's really awesome is that you don't have to stretch out too far out. You can be a really relaxed position with this lens. And if I zoom in to all the way to 18, it'll be really zoomed in and there won't be a lot of background and there's not a lot in the frame. So if I zoom out back to 10 millimeters, then there's more background and there's just so much more in frame. Let's test out the image stabilization. Chickens are running, dogs are running. Trying to hold it as steady as I can. This is with image stabilization. Now I'm going to turn off the image stabilization. This is without image stabilization. And walking back to the house. If you thought this video was helpful, share it. If you liked this video, click the like button, click on the notification bell to get notified when there's a new video, and also subscribe. Be brave, continue filming valuable content. Until next time. And also, thanks to Ruslan helping out to film, you can check out his channel. In the uh, link below or on the side, this side or that side, any of the sides will be my link to my channel.